well, the course is a throwback course. It's been on the books for years with no one teaching it, and it's a little contrary to current academic work because it's not really um, multicultural. It's not really um, postmodern at all. But uh, I guess that's where I first fell in love with reading. Was reading detective stories with my dad growing up. So it's not even necessarily a professional interest as much as it is a personal one that's becoming professional. The detective story is a great vehicle for thought when, in teaching the students. Um, the figure of the detective is an archetypal figure. That's one of the things we look at. It's a figure of an outsider. It's someone who has learned to live by their wits. And in a culture that seems increasingly corporatized and uh, with mass sensibilities, uh, having a character that lives by their wits is a way to uh, cherish the individual, give students, many of whom are English and liberal arts majors, a sense that the things that they love about their lives, the freedom, the independence, the clear, critical, and, and creative thought, is something that's of value and something that they could actually extend beyond um, just classroom work into a model of how to perhaps view themselves in an increasingly stifling world sometimes. Imagining the course was difficult because with as diverse a population as BMCC has, the detective genre really seems to only have a lot of authors in um, the Anglo world and in the African American community. So I was limited in the sort of authors that I could offer the students. I was concerned that it would limit the type of students who would take the class, but I found it to be otherwise. We have a nice diversity of students in the class, and I think looking at the detectives as figures of outsiders, of um, hero figures, is something interesting. And one of the assignments of the course has been to see if students have access to other detectives who are not African American or not white, and to see if we can find ways to incorporate them into the course in a future incarnation. Well, so much of the literature that we read now is um, emblematic of people's lifestyles. You know, so you have Asian American classes, African American literature classes, and so forth. And we look for literature that gives voice to the democracy of the country, the diversity and breadth of the country. And with the detective story, it doesn't seem to be quite as interesting a, a topic. But at the same time, what we end up talking about is the figure of the detective. We talk about the exoticism and the eroticism of it. We talk about the suspense inherent in it. And we end up coming back to existentialism a lot, which is interesting because I don't find that conversation coming up in a lot of my other literature classes. What does it mean to be a figure like a detective who exists outside of the normal moral ethical code sometimes? And that's kind of fun. Um, I chose to take the detective story because um, I've always been fascinated with the character of the detectives, especially growing up reading a lot of Batman comic books and um, just pop culture. I kind of always thought that the detective story kind of lent itself into exploring pop culture through um, kind of the more shadier avenues. Well, I definitely think the detective definitely lends itself to American culture because it's definitely this idea of the individual without any guidance from either um, the authority or from uh, his own kind of moral standpoints to kind of overcome what's, uh, what's ahead of him using his intellect or really using his smarts. So I think that's kind of a uh, something you kind of use just for American the American citizen on a whole, kind of this individual that kind of has to fight and find his own kind of uh, solution to the problem. You know, the modern kind of uh, twist to it is definitely a, a kind of a, um, a bonus for a student because I think a lot of stuff, a lot, of a lot of times when you're reading a lot of literature, it seems maybe um, a little more foreign because it's either out of date or kind of from a time where you can't really relate to it as much. Well, I think with these characters, they're a lot more um, kind of graspable and because of that, you're able to kind of identify more. If I found a modern-day detective and I was looking for a quality that I can admire, I would look to see if that detective could answer questions without a second thought. When I say that, I mean, if you've read any of the Sherlock Holmes stories, if you ask him a question, he says, well, I'm not going to give you an answer because a fool, only a fool would make a theory without having all the evidence, which I think a lot of modern day detectives do that's different than Sherlock Holmes. So if, I guess, without, basically I'm saying I don't want a detective that would jump to one certain conclusion, jump the gun. I find the course interesting in that the characters in the stories are people that we can relate to in one f fashion or another. There are also people who you wouldn't normally 
look to as a hero, but because of the way they're presented, you can find them interesting, relatable. When speaking of Professor Tolan's teaching style, um, I can say that his attitude gives, adds a lot to it. Professor Tolan isn't your average English lit teacher who comes into class suit and tie and says, okay, here's your reading assignment and it's due so and such and such date. Professor Tolan takes the time to relate it back to our everyday lives, our interpersonal relationships, and he comes in with his cashews and his flip-flops. So it's somebody you feel comfortable speaking to about the material without being shot down if you give a wrong answer. I think that our students, particularly when they get to 300 level courses in English and the liberal arts, are really students who are gaining confidence in their own independence as thinkers. You know, I think we prepared them well to be critical, creative thinkers. In a course like this, you really seem to bring out the ideal of this detective as somebody who, through their own wits, are able to understand things, to deduce, to observe areas that other people might not be aware of. So where liberal arts majors oftentimes get a short shrift because they're not professionally trained in a career field, traditionally liberal arts students are ones who have a breadth of knowledge and that breadth allows them to see the world in ways that a more limited education would not afford them. So this detective is oftentimes a figure who brings those sort of liberal arts skills to bear in a sort of engaging, suspenseful way. You know, And I think that a lot of our students can find a way to see themselves in that in some way.